Well, there's a great deal of excitement in relationship to the visit of the ecumenical patriarch and the Pope to Jerusalem. And why is that so important because of this historic event 50 years ago? What made Pope Paul VI at that time be the first Pope ever to leave by plane Italy in order to reach out to whom? To his brother Andrew. So Peter sought Andrew in order to bring unity and harmony to the church. So Pope Paul VI traveled to meet ecumenical patriarch Athenagoras in a historic meeting. What occurred there? They came together in love. They confessed the same creed. But what was as extraordinary, the consequences afterwards, the lifting of the anathemas between the two churches that had not spoken since 1054. There was a 1204 crusade. There was a separation that occurred between East and West. So this was a historic, unbelievable time for the Christians around the world. The consequences, everybody says, what did this mean? Up until that time, Orthodox and Catholic Christians could not come together to do a sacrament of marriage. So many people were torn apart in this country, especially in the United States, pluralism, so many were coming together and could not marry and was breaking the hearts and the minds of people who were devoted to the Christian faith, whether Orthodox or Catholic. So it was very unique what these people did and that's why what's gonna be occurring at the end of May, May 25th and 26th, when Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew and Pope Francis come together will be a reaffirmation of the love. We have unity, we have union, we want to come to communion, a sense of oneness of Christ. And this all is going to be celebrated together uh, at a historic time. And I think that both of these uh, spiritual leaders, the heads of the state, they are part of the ancient Christian undivided body of Christ. Like John Paul II said, two lungs of the same body. But they're going back to the ancients. And from the ancients, we are not going to simply take the ashes. We're going to take the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit that inspires, imbues, and asks people to go beyond themselves, beyond their egos, beyond their doctrinal differences, and come together in the love of Christ. That's why we come together and say Christ is risen. It's a celebration of love. And that's what Patriarch Bartholomew is going to do, what Pope Francis is going to do, and where? at the Holy Sepulchre. We're gonna be able to chant, Christ is risen together. And without Christ, without his resurrection, our faith would be in vain. So that's what we're gonna be doing on this great moment of celebrating 50 years past, but we're looking forward to a future to the kingdom of God.